I'm Jared Gall with Car and Driver. I'm here with Harold Vester, the uh, Chief Technology Officer for Fiat and Chrysler, but more importantly for today, he's the CEO of Maserati globally, and we're here at the Detroit Auto Show looking at the new Quattro Porte. It's a completely new car. Longer, lighter, more powerful, more efficient, and despite being increased in its dimension, it's yet it's 220 pounds lighter. We have completely new powertrains, uh, proprietary powertrains developed um, between the two teams, the Ferrari powertrain development team and the Maserati powertrain development team, um, a V6 and a V8, both featuring the latest twin turbo technologies and uh, the latest direct injection uh, technologies. The V8 has 530 HP, 191 uh, miles per hour maximum speed, and up to 20% uh, reduction in fuel consumption compared to, to the previous model. Um, first ever for Maserati for a 4x4 transmission, available on the V6 engines. 60% of the upper body is, is made of aluminium. Why all-wheel drive? Well, you know, uh, if you look, for example, there are many markets in the, in the world, and one of which is, uh, today we're in Detroit, mm -hmm. Uh, the entire east coast of the United States, uh, the northeast. Um, if you look into this segment um, in the North American region, approximately 40% of this type of car are with 4x4. Now we we have one. Was it in conjunction with any no, suppliers? You know, of course, the concept was done in house, but the component is provided by one of the. Uh, best uh, uh, suppliers globally for these type uh, of components and it's um, it's a completely new development dedicated for us. As you move from last year 6300 sales yeah. globally toward 2015 is kind of the end of the current plan yeah. that we're talking about anyways. You're looking at increasing sales to 50,000. How yeah. exactly do you plan on doing that? Well look there are a couple of elements. First of all, this is a completely new car, um, and it's the the initial start of this uh, revolution on our in our product portfolio. Um, we are starting sales in these days in Europe, and we are going to roll it out uh, globally over the next months. It will uh, come to the U.S. approximately in June. We plan to sell uh, peak. Uh, volumes of uh, this new Quattro Porte globally, the entire range available between 13 and 15,000. So this is the first cornerstone of this uh, 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 strategy for the future. Next step then, we are going to present these cars in the next months. A small sister or brother of this car, um, uh, a high-end mid-size sedan. Um, right. Which the, the, the Ghibli, Ghibli, as yes. we call it, mm -hmm. and uh, we are going to present it to the um, to the global audience over the next uh, four or five months, and um, starting production in June 2013. From that uh, product, we are planning to sell approximately 10,000 more than from the Quattro Porta, so something between 23 and uh, and 25. And then uh, I guess everybody remembers the Kubang concept we presented yes. last year here in Detroit at the Auto Show. Um, the Kubang, more or less unchanged uh, in the exterior uh, as we presented it uh, 12 months ago, uh, is going into production around the fourth quarter of 2014. So it will be fully available in, um, in 2015. We are forecasting and planning uh, volumes in the range of the Ghibli, so something between 20 and 25,000 a year. And if you sum this up, plus uh, the Gran Turismo, the Cabriolet products, which uh, we will maintain and keep, rejuvenate uh, over over their life cycle, here you are with the 50,000 global volumes. And now, in order to get to 50,000, the Kubang or the Levant, Levante? Levante will Levante. be the, the, the production. The, the, the 940 um, series production car. Yeah, and that, that will share some componentry with the Jeep Grand Cherokee, is that correct? Well, I, when we start thinking about a new product, you, we start with the DNA of Maserati, what Maserati stands for. And um, this has to be 
it's guaranteed, 100%. And this is true for this car. As I mentioned before, the body is specific, the powertrains are specific, the engines, the gearbox, the transmission, the 4x4 system, the suspension, everything. And if you are part of a big group, it would be more than stupid at the end of the day not looking and not trying to catch some of the synergies but first of all be very clear about your concept and don't put anything together which does not match your DNA because this is a very distinctive brand very distinctive products and that's what you have to guarantee mm -hmm. so it is true for the Quattro Port it will be true for uh, for the Levante if there is something we can use, and we are talking about things which are practically invisible for a customer, talking about an electric electronic architecture um, or other similar features, but they have nothing to do with what makes a Maserati a Maserati. Right. So we're not talking about sharing suspension architectures. No. We're not talking about specific, engine. dedicated. Mm -hmm. Maserati is one of those. You know, everybody says that you know their brand is about passion their brand is about feeling i think maserati is one of those few brands where that's yeah, true this is a holistic piece of art i mean do, do you worry about losing that as you ex as you expand no. sales i mean by such a dramatic number in such a short no, it, period yeah of time. It, it, it's a matter of perspective if you look we produced and sold in 2012 6300 plus globally so a number pretty similar to to ferrari yeah, our sister company, um, which is much more exclusive than, 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 than we are. We are not aiming at 500,000 or 5 million. We are talking about 50,000. 50,000 in something um, global market of new cars sold, some, a number close to 70 million. We will remain very exclusive. It's not then, as of 2015, when you get out of your house, you will see five months run is passing by. It will remain uh, a very exclusive brand. And we will guarantee this also, based on what I mentioned before about the concepts and everything. First and foremost, for each and every new Maserati, we will take care and we will guarantee that 100% of the Maserati DNA is what defines the car and what it stands for. Are you happy at 50,000 sales? Is that sort of this where is, you see a sweet spot? This, this, is, this is our plan, and for the time being, there are no plans or no definitions to go, to go beyond. Okay. And then, so at 2015, then, you will have Quattro Porte. You'll we will have, have the Quattro Porte. We will have the Ghibli. We will have the Levante. We will have the Gran Turismo or one of its uh, successors. And we might have an additional product. Um, it might be a more compact, even sportier uh, 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 sister of the of the Grand Turismo, kind of Grand Sport. Let's okay. Call it like this. Okay. There have been some rumors that that might be another crossover. No. Okay. No. For the time being. No. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. You're welcome.